Fireside Investigation, KB Home Fallout. Three and a half years after our Eight on Your Side investigation busted KB Home for shoddy construction, the mega company is paying a big price. Our stories exposed mold and balconies ripping off of condominiums. But what's more shocking than that, the company knew about the dangers and kept selling homes. The Florida Attorney General is forcing KB to pay millions, but some homeowners are still not happy with repairs. Eight on Your Side investigator Shannon Bankin shows us why. From the outside, Willowbrook condominiums look all shiny and new again. Yeah, we heard took all the stucco out and everything. Yeah. Our Eight on Your Side investigation exposed shoddy construction three and a half years ago. We found walls not built with enough screws, homes not up to Florida building codes. All the two by fours, top and bottom, are supposed to have a strap in here, a hurricane strap. Pressure from eight on your side got KB to spend more than 70 million in repairs. And last week, Florida's Attorney General announced a multi million dollar settlement that forces the builder to fix more homes and pay fines. But all is but not well. The last time yes. we saw you, are you happy with the repairs that KB did to your home? Absolutely not. I still have water intrusion, flooring issues, mold. She's not the only one. A big part of the settlement requires KB to have a babysitter. That's right, a third party inspector to watch over new home construction. But hold up, isn't that what we pay county building inspectors to do? This is Manatee County's head inspector back in 2012. So how is it possible then that these things were missed? I don't know that anything was missed by inspections. Well, guess what? The AG lawsuit confirms big code problems, and Manatee County inspectors didn't catch any of them. And now, officials don't want to talk about it. And what other information do you need? I've had mold inspector out. And Residents left to deal with this fallout want more that. answers and more accountability. Do you think KB should still be allowed to build in Florida after this? Absolutely not. They shouldn't be building anywhere. Manatee County commissioners have the same questions. They asked the building department for a memo explaining themselves. Meanwhile, the AG office tells me it's unclear whether all of these violations would have been visible during county inspections. So if county inspection protocols cannot catch something like this, we want to know, should the process just be changed? Well, a couple of things here come to mind. Who is this third-party inspector for KB? And do the county inspectors face any kind of trouble or penalties for not catching any of this? We don't know who that inspector is. That's one of the questions we have. No one knows yet, but we do know that KB will have to foot the bill for that. As far as the county inspectors, I checked into that, and there's actually a Supreme Court decision a few years ago that says that they don't have to pay anything. You cannot sue the county. So interesting. More to come for sure. Sorry. Thank you, Shannon.